Hey guys, Skip Stewart here. As you can see, we've been pretty busy uh, around Skip Stewart Air Shows for the last few weeks. Uh, we're flying the air shows down in Central America. We did El Salvador and Guatemala and had an issue with the spinner and that's why the propeller is missing. We're getting a new propeller from Whirlwind. Real excited about that. Uh, but also had a wing failure, uh, the front mount on the top wing actually ripped off the airplane. Not good. We scrambled and got it back together in record time, probably about 12 hours. I hope we're almost done. We're getting pretty close. We're gonna make the show. Because of the damage to the top wing when we got home, I wanted to uncover the top wing, make sure there wasn't any other damage. Some of the things that I found uh, wrong with this wing, first of all, this is the plate that we broke down in El Salvador. This part ripped completely off of the airplane. Uh, the bolt was still on this plate, but it was bent back about an inch and had broken two of the five bolts that hold it on. So it's, uh, it was a pretty serious failure, which is why we went to all the trouble of uh, pulling the fabric off and taking a look at it. Um, the trailing edge used to be aluminum and just from the the snap rolls and all of the working back and forth that aluminum work hardened and broke. If you've ever taken a paper clip and bit it back and forth until it breaks, you know that what, what metal will do when it work hardens, which is one of the nice things about having wooden wings. Um, so I replaced that uh, with uh, some hardwood. All the ribs are made out of spruce. Uh, this plywood is a mahogany plywood. The leading edges are also plywood. It's made out of akumi because it bends real well in one direction. When you layer it together, it's uh, light and stiff. And when you glue that to the spar, it makes effectively a D-spar, which makes it quite a bit stronger than the aluminum leading edges on the stock pits. So the process of uh, covering these wings, I do it a little bit differently than, uh, well, than a, like a uh, certified airplane would be. But uh, this is a polyester fabric. And um, on the old days, it used to be cotton, but that would uh, decay after a while. This is supposed to be lifetime. But as hard as I fly, we have to take it apart every once in a while and take a look at it. But uh, the, we do a first layer of uh, this fabric. It's glued on around the edges. And then you take an iron. There's two different settings. You do a low setting first, take the big wrinkles out, then you get to a high setting, and that's what makes it drum tight like this. Uh, after that, we put this reinforcing tape on top of the ribs, which is uh, it's a nylon woven, uh, really strong flat tape. And then we take a waxed string and stitch the fabric uh, to the ribs. And what that does is uh, airplanes fly by creating low pressure on the top of the wing and high pressure on the bottom of the wing. Imagine that low pressure is like a vacuum cleaner. So it's trying to suck this fabric off the airplane the whole time. So if you didn't have a mechanical means of attaching it, then the top of the wing would balloon up and, and uh, mess up the airflow over your wing. So that's why we have to stitch it like this. It's called a modified sign knot, S-E-I-N-E. -E. Here we have the needle coming through from the other side. And I like to take the, uh, the string that's going to the, to the uh, knot from below, put that underneath and put the other one on top. You pull that through until you get a little loop like this. And the uh, polyfiber manual will tell you to grab this and pull it out and spin it around and put it back in. Uh, kind of take a shortcut, I'll just wrap this around like that. And then you take this on the other side. And then you just pull this one string here to get rid of the slack. And you just pull this one to tighten the slip knot until it's tight on the rib, like so. And put your thumb on it so it can loosen while you tighten the slip knot on top of it to hold it in place. So once we get to this point, uh, I covered in uh, thinned glue to seal the fabric. And then we uh, are gonna put a uh, very lightweight fabric on top of that. So it's like, uh, that covers up all the uh, rib stitching and um, makes it even tighter. Now on a certified airplane, you would use little strips, which we call tapes, and just put them over the top of the things that you wanna cover up. And also 
we call doilies around areas that you want to reinforce, like that handhold or um, the areas where the uh, uh, flying wires attach or the eye strut attaches. You would put little doilies around that. But since we're doing a second piece of fabric over the whole airplane, then we can, we can uh, not use that process. But uh, these are getting close. Uh, we just need to roll with glue one more time and throw the thin fabric on, glue it down, and uh, it's ready to start the spray and get in the, in the paint booth. All right, guys, so stay tuned for the next video. We're going to uh, continue with this process. We'll show you the, the painting. We're using PPG paint. I'm excited about that. It's going to be single stage. There's going to be a lot of masking going on. Uh, we just got the paint booth in the hangar, which is uh, going to be awesome. Uh, so I'm looking forward to, to this being right here and, and, and using that. So uh, stay tuned and, uh, and follow the process.